Welcome to Traveling While Black in Seattle. Hey, what's up? I'm Anthony. This is my wife, Marley, and welcome to another episode of Traveling While Black in Seattle. Yes, welcome back, everyone. As a brief reminder, our show is based on our experiences in and around Seattle, and we base those experiences off of how good of a drive it was, how much fun we had, and most importantly, how comfortable do we feel as black people visiting for the first time? So Seattle is surrounded by beautiful mountain ranges, which makes it no surprise that skiing is a popular activity up here, which is also not surprising is that people have requested for us to go check out skiing. And even though we do not ski, but because we love y'all, we knew we had to get out of our comfort zone. So we decided to make a compromise. Instead of skiing, we decided to first start out with snow tubing. Yes, and so we took a trip up to Snoqualmie Falls to check out the summit at Snoqualmie to snow tube, which I will say, snow tubing is a little intimidating for some of us. Yeah, one of us was extremely more intimidated than the other, but did it prevent both of us from enjoying snow tubing? Take a look at the episode and find out. And as always, let us know what you think. Seattle is surrounded by beautiful mountain ranges, and because of that, it is no surprise that skiing is a popular activity up here. So it should also be no surprise that a lot of viewers have requested that we do a skiing episode. Because we haven't worked up the courage yet to ski, we decided to compromise and do some snow tubing. You know, starting off slow. Ha! <laughs> That's why we headed to Snoqualmie Pass to visit the Summit Winter Resort, which offers snow tubing. Even though tubing seems like it takes less courage than skiing, for some people, it's still a lot of buildup, and for some, even impossible. Drive great. Our drive to the summit at Snoqualmie Pass took us about 47 minutes. For us, it was a direct shot right up by 90. The drive was not bad at all. In fact, we actually really enjoyed it, which is usually the case anytime we head up this way. Yep, yeah, the views are awesome, even on a cloudy day like the day we went. And the closer you get to the pass, the views get even better. Yeah, we love drives like this because it gives us a chance to take in some of the landscape that reminds us of why we love living here. We have to say, even though the drive isn't bad, the parking situation is another story, at least on busier days. And in fact, it was the parking that contributed to our little uh, misunderstanding. Still, as far as for the drive itself, really no complaints. So for drive grade, we give it a five out of five. Level of fun. Whether you're skiing or snow tubing, having the right gear is really important. Just as important, at least for me, is having fashionable gear. Once we had the gear, we were ready for some snow tubing. After searching for a good while for some parking, we finally found a clutch spot that we didn't hesitate to pull into. Hindsight, we probably should have hesitated and read some more about the resort. True. See, what's important to note about the Summit Winter Resort is that it is huge and it offers four different mountain areas. Alpental, Summit Central, Summit East, and Summit West. This is important to note for you all because we got off the highway and found parking at Summit West, but the tubing park is located at Summit Central. The parking attendant at Summit West, after informing us of where we needed to be, warned us that it was not recommended to walk to Summit Central, but we weren't trying to lose our parking spot that we worked so hard to find. That's why we decided to walk. Yeah, and we walked and walked and walked. After a while, we verified that we were halfway. We can't lie, the walk was horrible. Yeah, we should have listened. But finally, after the long hike, we made it to the tubing park. A little fatigued, we walked up to the entrance and showed our tickets we purchased online, and we were in. The park was filled with snow tubers, and you can feel the fun energy just by looking at the site. Some of us may have felt a nervous energy, but still, we grabbed our tubes and headed towards the top of the slope. The park does have a standing lift that takes riders up to the top, but that line was too long. So since we were in our walking mood, we just hiked up. There were plenty of lines to go down that were separated by a kid's lane and two other varying lanes of difficulty. Finally, it was our turn. Again, we had never been snow tubing before, and looking down at the slope made it set in that this was real. Unfortunately, 
I couldn't do it. I had to face the embarrassment of walking back down the hill. Me, on the other hand, I did it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I went down a few times. It was a blast. After my final time down, we just sat at the bottom and just hung out. Even though I didn't snow tube, I still had a blast. Just being in an environment made for a great day. The summit does offer a lot more than just tubing, skiing, and snowboarding like lodges, restaurants, and bars. Yep, and we plan on covering all of that more in depth when we return for our skiing episode. Yeah, right. They also offer lessons, babe. It'll be fine. But we'll see. Anyway, for level of fun, we give a 5 out of 5. Comfortability for black people. So, there was some diversity at the resort, and believe it or not, we actually saw quite a few other black people. Yep, believe it or not, black people do ski. As far as the staff work in the resort, everyone was friendly and very helpful. Yes, everyone seemed to be in a great mood and enjoying their time, and we absolutely felt comfortable. Uh, except on the tubing slope, of course. Speak for yourself. Ha. We most def recommend y'all checking out the Summit at Snoqualmie Winter Resort. For comfortability for black people, we give a 5 out of 5. We hope you found this episode to be helpful and entertaining. Be sure to check out our previous episodes. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And check out our merchandise at TravelingMallBlackSeattle.com. And be sure to reach out if there's anywhere you would like us to check out. Until next time, beautiful people, stay up, stay true, and do you.